day, folks. This is Omar Jose. Servant in peace. I'm gonna do this a little different. Do this video a little different. I'm gonna try to get to the big screen. Press my tablet. Um, and since this is on my mind, I, I've been told right to do this video, but I just been as usual. I right? just been lazy. Um, working my own thing out, a lot of pain. So sorry for the delay. So let's go ahead and get this out before the new wave of information comes in. So, warning, this caution, this page is not for everyone. So we're going to start out with what being a sin or a sinner is. I can't hear that good. Uh, so we're going to find out why Jesus is without sin and how you come to be so sinful and all the other things that go with being a sinner. Now, some bright idea came up with sin means to miss the mark. I, in history, I don't see how that's true. So, let's just see what history says about sin and people born of sin. Here we go. So now, we'll go up. Let's start out with... Uh, We have pagan gods born on the 25th. And I'm not sure if you can see them that clear. But I think you could. Let me see if I get closer. Alright. Now notice these people, where they live at. And who they are. Ishtar, Osiris, Isis. Uh sexuality are these icons and let's look at this thank you Rob Skip Skipper even though we already knew this so you can't say this is yours we already knew this already it just we're glad you're able to put it in the format and we can share it so you got Gilgit Gilgamesh and Baal and all of them where are they from and who are they now we're about to get to the nitty gritty now we we'll come down to saviors. We have a lot of ones that are crucified. But look what part of the country they're in. If you see that pretty closely. I hope you can. Let me see if I can get you in a little bit more. Alright. So we got the beginning of this unholy trinity. And we got where they got these uh, men born on the 25th and these 16 crucified saviors but here's the funny thing is in the books they say that they were without, without sinning we have to find out who is sin and where is sinner and where they come from and how did you become a sinner in the bible how did the so called how did messiah was sinless how the apostles were sinless. Check it out. So now, this is the essence of the sinner. Icons, self-worship, and Exodus tells you about them. They have the spirit of a sinner in them. <coughs> S-I-N-N-E-R, not center, but sinner. So we have this guy here, the victor of the Son of God, who is a sinner. And he reigns over the whole world. This is the sinner, this is the life of a sinner. You see how you know? Because when they created the sinner, when the sinners created this, this is before Kabbalism. This is before Christianity. This is before uh, 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 Islam. We'll get to the point of sinners. Well, let me introduce you to sin, first of all. Uh, good day, folks. Let me introduce you to Ishtar, Iyana. 
This is the daughter of Sen, moon god Ishtar is the morning and evening star of the planet. We call it Venus, the goddess of love and war. In Assyria, she is goddess of war. She is represented as a woman sitting on a lion and with different weapons in her hands. So, if you are a sinner, do you acknowledge this Venus, Ishtar, goddess, and goddess of war, like Mercury? So, we know Greeks are sinners, seed of the sinners, and we know Romans are seed of the sinners. How do we know? Because this right here. Six-pointed star in a helmet. Or Armenians, rather. They go another one. Six-pointed star. And they tell you about the bombs. This is what sinners do. They're destructive. Uh, and here's their icons and their depictions. This is the culture of sin. Let me introduce you again to center. Now, and there's a conspiracy around that because they have books around these marks. Conspiracy of the six-point star and the eight-point star. See? Now look at the connect connection to them. Now you take that point star because we have these guys who's going to bring the sinners to hell. So when they say we're going to bring the sinner to hell, that means to Hellenists, to Hellenia, to Troy, to Greece. So there's a war between hell and sin. These people right here is hell. And these people are sinners. You put them together, you're going to hell for being a sinner. You get that? Now, what happens when hell and hell and sinners get together? Let's get that up. They build societies like this. Cross, the crown, and the crescent, the three seeds. Those are the essence of the sinners and the hells and hell. But let's not get sidetracked. Now, here, let me show you some history. Sar King, King Sargon's grandson, Nimram, sent, captured, and burned Ibla. You see what the sinner did? You see the picture of what the sinner is doing to the king of Ibla and the people of Ibla? Now, if you, did, if you, if you knew your history, you knew that I was talking about you, so-called black man. And so the sinners and the Hellenists took this from you. The trade route. Sinners the sinners made you go against your God and said they're going to send you to hell and that's what they sent you through your trade routes. Then they took your science with the eight pointed star with the eye in the middle and says peace, tolerance, truth. That is a code between them between the sinners and the Hellenists. See, well, how you know that, Hosea? Because we have the same eight-pointed star right here. And it's for Venus and the star. But why is they using this eight-pointed star? Hellenists and sinners. Who wants to go to hell? And you say, well, how, how, did that, how did that fit to anything? Because these are the sinners. This is the emblem of the sinners. This is the iconography of sinners. This is the culture of the sinners. And the only reason why they could say the Messiah was without sin 
is because he followed the commandments. See, this is how you know people who are out sin. See, when a man where he plays y'all, he makes even his many means to be at peace with him. See, a sinner and people from hell can't do that. So if you're a sinner or, or a bloodline of sin, you can never please the Most High. Let's go back to some more. I would know more about a sinner because they have this as well. Eight-pointed star sinners. We have another sigil about what sinners do. And the Most High said, do not use any of these images. Ishtar, the black rock worship. Another one. These are all essence of sinners. Sin. Sin is ran by, but Babylon is ran by sinners. Modern Babylon is sin. Modern Rome is of the sinners. They work, they work together. So how do you know that? Well, because of the Masons. They use it. The cross, the crown, the crescent, skull and bones. And they're sinners. More sinners. More sinners. Yeah. And I drew this one day, and I didn't know why. I didn't know what it was coming from. I didn't know why I had to. But it was an eight-pointed star in that box. This is a funny eight-pointed star. Get that box. Is it ironic the eight-point star? And if I use other box. It's gonna take too much time. But this is why you can't see God polite. This is why God is gonna help you sign that. Uh uh, this is why. Uh, got the, uh, the most high don't come to your assistance um, Surah, Surah Seti the general this is why you can't use it you don't know the language find you something else before we close out this see the life of a sinner remember when I showed you he killed Ibla and I took this out you know, keep this in mind. Hold up. Keep that in mind. They're the ones that brought Christianity. They're the ones that brought Islam. These sinners there. See, a lot of people don't know. A lot of people y'all know what a sinner is. So let's now, we're gonna go to scripture. I got, well, I got, I got three minutes, maybe four minutes. Okay, let's go to go time. Heavenly Father, let's search for this. Please forgive me for not praying first, but we ask for permission to open up the people's ears and their minds and that you may be glorified. By the power of the Holy Spirit that I come, I humbly ask and pray and to the power, to the power before me and after me, we say thank you. Say a lot. Let's see what sin is. Uh, now it says I can't make it bigger let try to get it in here real quick now let's see the sin now remember we showed you the people of sin oh let's go straight okay the sting of death is sin the strength of sin is the law is, is the law Read that again. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. That's man's law. Does that not bother us at all? Uh, the strength of sin is the law. Unrighteousness is sin, and there is a sin not unto death. Now, use that and think about the sin culture 
and the sinners that killed the Ibra kingdom. All righteousness is sin, and there is a sin unto death, okay? Now, know then it is no more that I do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. See, the culture of sin was in Paul because he knew about it, he read about it, he was a scholar. Now then, now then it is no more that I do, but a sin dwelleth in me. Let's go to another one. But sin taking occasion from the commandment wrought in me all manners of conspicuous con concupiscence. Without the law, sin was dead. Of sin, because they believed not on me. Until the law, sin was in the world. See, those people who were named sinners and sins, they were in the world. But sin is not imputed when there is no law. Hammurabi created the laws on this planet, man's law on the planet. He didn't go by the laws of the Most High. Check it out. Let's find another one. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. Because I did the things of what sin nerves done. Let's find another one. Now remember, remember David uh, was around the time of all the sinners. And it says, if any man see his brother sin, all right, remember Ishtar, all them, sin which is not unto death, he shall also ask he shall be given him life for that sin not unto death. There is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. Did the gist of this? If this makes sense, let me know. If it don't make sense, uh, let me know and I'll we'll make another video. But remember, the actual people were called sinners and they created a culture in Babylon that we live by right now and the time of Christ lived in the time of Muhammad and so they, they was coming to battle against the sinners these were our first captives these were the first slave masters uh, in, Israel, in uh, Israel in Hebrew in Ishmael we all went to Syria and Babylon and that's where we learned how to sin and that's where the word sinner and sinners became popular and hell became popular after we went to uh, 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 Rome as captives and Greece as captives. But now we know what hell is. Peace.